As an attachment researcher and as a child psychiatrist, the people that I work with in clinical settings or that I speak to in educational and scientific settings ask me, how much can a parent really influence a child? Isn't their temperament that they're born with something that determines most of how they turn out? Now, it is true that your genetics are very important and genes determine, in large part, your temperament, what you're born with, the proclivity of your nervous system. But we also know from the study of attachment, the relationship between a parent and a child, that what parents do in their communication patterns with their kids actually shapes how the child's mind develops on top of their temperament. So yes, temperament is important. Some kids are more sensitive than others. But yes, you can teach your child how to have a more resilient approach to life, have to have a yes brain state, which is basically how to move from a tendency to be reactive, where you fight back and want to flee and are not open to what's going on, to actually a positive yes brain state where in your interactions with your child you can teach them to be in this open state where in that brain firing pattern they can tap internally into their own resources, they can be open more to what's going on from other people in the world, they're open to engaging with new and challenging situations. And as you probably know, learning requires this receptive yes brain state. So if you'd like to learn what you can do as a care provider for a child to make it more likely that that child, no matter what their temperament is, will have a yes brain approach to life, come join my co-author Tina Bryson and I on a journey to cultivating the yes brain.